Chad. second to spare. Full recovery, then three more. Proud of you, Brittany. Proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Hey! Hi! <laughs> How are you? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Good, I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, me too. Oh, Coach Michaels, this is my high school cross-country coach, Coach Donnelly. Ah, so you're the one that discovered Brittany. Well, I think that Brittany discovered herself. Jeffrey Michaels, pleasure to meet you. Courtney Smith Donnelly, nice to meet you too. And yes, she's the one. Her friends Anna and Heidi talked her into coming out for cross country her senior year. Yeah, and coach, I had never run before in my life. Thought I was gonna hate it, but I ended up making top seven. <laughs> I saw she had some natural speed, so I encouraged her to go out for track. <laughs> she begged me. <laughs> I begged, I did, I begged. I'm sure glad you did. Me too. She ended up setting the record in the 800 meter at Orange Hills Academy and wound up a state champ. And that's where I came on the scene. Sure, nice to meet your first coach. Thank you. Perhaps we can talk some more at the conference. Yeah, I'd love that. It starts tonight and goes all day tomorrow. Is it just for high school coaches? No, actually, it's for middle school, high school, college, officials, administrators, all the Christian schools in the state. Just a way for everybody to get to know one another. Sounds like fun. Yeah, I think it should be. But enough about me. Tell me about you. <sighs> well, I like my classes, the school. Um... I have some great friends. I like track and I love my coach. Coach Michaels trains the distance runners and he's also the head coach. He seems very nice. He's the best. Oh, and I have a boyfriend. Oh? Yeah, his name is Chris. He's on the track team and he runs the 800. Okay, okay. So, can you beat him? Well, Doc, Dr. Harris. Have you ever thought about retiring? Yes, but if I retire, I won't have anything to do. Do you play golf? No. <laughs> Why not? Because golf is the most frustrating game ever invented. <laughs> I can't argue with you there. You didn't answer my well. Something's not right with your heart, Jeff. You really should retire before it retires you, like, in the ground, six feet under. Well, we don't want to go there just yet. What is it? It's probably too much stress. Look, you teach classes all day long. You coach cross country in the fall, indoor track in winter, outdoor track in spring, and you've been doing it like, what, 100 years? The stress is too much for you. 27 years. I love coaching. Then the love of it is too much for you. You're gonna need extensive rest until we can get this thing figured out. And Jeff, you need it now. So what events do you coach in track? Oh, I, uh, I don't actually coach track. You coach cross country, but you don't coach track. Right. You ever run track? No, again. <laughs> okay, when I was in high school, I played golf in the spring and couldn't do both, so. Golf. Golf is the most frustrating game ever invented. Sounds like you play. No, not anymore. For the exact same reason I just stated. You must be a pretty good golfer if you didn't run track in high school. Orange Hills Academy, that's where you coach cross country, right? Right. It's about an hour from here. Yes, sir. Brittany's a junior. I can't believe we've never met before now. 
I know. I've been meaning to come out to watch her run, and I'm going to make it out to meet this year. Good. I've got a home meet coming up this weekend. Yeah, I'm planning on being there, actually. She'll appreciate that. She's ranked second, you know. Brittany's ranked second in the conference? Conference? She's second in the nation. NCCA. I did not know that Brittany was ranked second in the nation. National Christian Collegiate Association. Not the NCAA. We don't get them confused. <laughs> We're a Christian college, small. NCCA is made up of many schools around the country like us. We're not going to get the elite athlete to come here, but now and again, God will bless me with a little gem. She never told me she was ranked that high. She ran a 209.8 at first race this year. <laughs> Granted, the top girls in the NCAA are going to be faster, but any time a young lady runs under 210 in the 800, pretty good. Absolutely. Last year during the regionals, a girl tripped and fell, and Brittany and some of the other runners went down with her. She didn't qualify for the national. This year, the goal is to get to the national, place in the top three, and stand on that podium. You must be doing a great job training her. Thanks. You gave her a strong endurance base. Her high school track coach did okay. She's under my watch now. I'm pretty old school. Actually, my doctor's saying that I'm just old. <laughs> hey. You ready? Yes, I am. Wait, what'd you say? I said I'm ready. Hi, Mackenzie. Did you hear that? Hey, hear what? This is the first time she's ever been ready when I came to pick her up. <sighs> it is not. Yes, it is. You're never ready. You're always in there with the door closed, right, Mackenzie? Don't drag me into your family squabbles. Oh, I see. Two against one. I can't win with you two, huh? Make sure you have her home by 10. The movie doesn't get out till 10 15. Guess you'll have to miss the ending then. See ya, Mom. She's never been ready, and you know it. <laughs> Let's see what we're doing today. 200 repeats, 16 of them. We just did this. Uh, Coach Simpson, we just did 200 repeats a couple days ago. Yeah, I know. I'm combining everybody today. Well, can the 400 girls do something different? Sure. You can do 20 of them. How's that? You know, Leah, you question almost every workout I give you. Sorry, Coach. It's just, we just did these. Well, I think you need them again. Our relay team has a lot of ground to gain if we want to qualify for the regional. I don't like her. Oh, uh, yeah, we can see that. She doesn't know what she's doing. Come on, Leah. She's a good coach, and you know that. I'm not a fan. Mrs. Price, you wanted to see me? Yes, Coach Donnelly, come in, come in, take a seat. Oh, how many times have I told you to call me Karen? I lost count, I'm a science teacher, not a math teacher. Ooh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> so how you doing? Good, good, how are you? Well, normally my job as assistant principal is about putting out fires, but today I have some good news to report. I got approval from the board, and next spring we're going to field our first ever golf team at Orange Hills Academy. Oh, that'll be good. Every other private school in the States had golf for years, and we're just now getting around to it. But we finally arrived, <laughs> and I need a coach. That's where you come in. Now, I know you're a good golfer, so don't try to tell me you're not. I'd like to offer you the job first. The pay's about the same as you get for cross country, so I know that's not really much incentive. <laughs> but here's the agreement. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm honored and flattered. Um, and definitely interested. If it's okay with you, I'd like to talk it over with my husband first. Of course, of course. Take your time, take the agreement home, talk it over. Like I said, we're in no hurry. It won't start till next spring. <laughs> 2085, that's a PR. She bettered her own school record. <laughs> well, I was hoping to break 209, and we did it. <laughs> we did it. I'm very proud of you, young lady. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> That's a great time, Britt. Congratulations. Thanks. And Coach Donnelly, thank you so much for coming. It really means a lot. Oh, I'm happy to be here. I wouldn't have wanted to miss it. Brittany! Oh, it's my dad. <laughs> Go. Go. <laughs> She's the best female 800 runner I've ever had. I'm really glad for her. Hey, would you mind if I asked a quick question about the race today? Sure. Go ahead. 
I just noticed that she ran her first lap 4.2 seconds faster than her second. Do you think that if she evened out those splits, she could go even faster? I would agree with you, except it's the 800. 800 is the most unique running event there is. Uh, I'm not sure I understand. You're on the 5K in cross country, right? Right. That's pacing. This is an all-out endurance sprint. Check the world records and the distance events that are basically all even splits. So I agree with you. This 800, it's different. Almost every world record in that event through the years has been with positive splits. Uh, well, she did what? And it was her best time. She did, and it was. And she rang great. <laughs> yes, she did. Hey, it was good to see you again. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Glad to be here. We appreciate it. Hey. Yeah. What's up, guys? We are celebrating. Celebrating what? <gasps> you got engaged. No, we're <laughs> not even close. Chris? Uh, I mean, we're, we're close. We are so close, just <laughs> not yet. <laughs> we are celebrating a great athletic achievement. We know. Good job, Brittany. Yes, congratulations. Uh, you mean good job, Chris, and congratulations? I broke 155 today. Are you kidding? That's nothing. She broke 209 and beat her school record. You're just jealous. It's jealous? Why would I be jealous? I beat her by 14 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so my doc says I got to take an extended rest. Says I got to take it now. I told her track season just started. And your assistants finish this out for you? They can keep doing what they're doing and run the team. My graduate assistant can help coordinate the distant runner's workouts, though he doesn't understand the different training I'm giving him. Can you write the workouts for him then? I did that. I got an idea. The team is just average, with the exception of Brittany Ward. She's my only athlete that can get to national. She's got a real good chance of making the podium. I'd like to recommend we bring in another coach. All right, do you have someone in mind? So, Coach Michaels is having trouble with his heart. And his doctor said that he has to stop coaching immediately. I'm sorry to hear that. I know. Me too. He doesn't have an assistant coach to help with the distance runners, and he asked me if I would help out. But specifically, if I would coach Brittany. Okay, but how are you gonna pull that off? He was thinking that I could drive over there three days a week, and on those days, practice could just start later to accommodate my drive, and it would pay, and the school would cover my expenses. He's got it approved by the athletic director. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's totally up to you. What do you think? In here are all the workouts I've done with Brittany and the other runners so far this spring, and also what I have planned for each of them the rest of the season. Thank you. If you look at everybody's times, you see that Brittany is my only distance runner who can qualify for the regional. That's why I want your help. Even though you don't coach track, you've coached Brittany, and she respects you. I think that's a good fit. I appreciate that. You have any questions? Yes, sir. Um, Coach, I'll leave everybody else the same, but I'd like the liberty to modify some of Brittany's workouts as we get into this, if that's okay with you. It's okay with me. I brought you on board because of what you've accomplished at Orange Hills, also because of what Brittany told me. I trust you. Thank you. Keisha Thompson set the NCCA record last year in the 800. She ran a 2046. She runs for Zion College. That's about three hours from here, about two hours from where you live. The regional meet is there this year, and also the national. The national moves around to different parts of the country, but this year it's in our region. Zion has a very nice facility the Henry Hall Track and Soccer Complex. I know Mr. Hall. He's a legendary coach, but he's retired now. He's built a very strong program there. Coach, what do we have to do to qualify? For Brittany to qualify for the national, she has to place in the top four in the regional. She will be ranked second behind Keisha. We have six regions, so that means 24 runners will make it to the national. Gotcha. I've been coaching for 27 years. 
I've never had an 800 meter runner, male or female, make it to the podium. Brittany is our best chance. I'll do my best to help. Thank you. I've asked the distance runners and the coaches to stay after practice. Let's go meet them. OK, everybody, listen up. I have your attention, please. This is Coach Donnelly. She coaches cross country at Orange Hills Academy. She was Brittany's coach when she went to school there. Let me introduce you to the staff. This is Coach Simpson. She used to run for me a few years ago. She coaches the sprints, the 400, and the hurdles. Coach Rogers, he's the male counterpart for the same events. He ran for me in the day, too. Coach Maxwell handles all field events, and he's our trainer. And then Jess is my graduate assistant, and he helps with the distance runners. And all of these beautiful young men and women are my distance runners. 800 and up. Coach Donnelly is temporarily joining our staff. She's going to drive over here three days a week. And basically, she'll get here when you're done with your workouts. Brittany, I want you to wait and work with Coach Donnelly personally on those days. Now, some of you may be thinking that this is a step down going from a college coach back to a high school coach. I would be thinking the same thing. But I can assure you that you're wrong. Coach Donnelly will have all of the workouts I have planned for you this season. OK. I'm going to be taking an extended vacation. It doesn't mean I'm going to be relaxing on some beach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be resting at home. So you can come and see me anytime. I love each and every one of you. I'm going to miss seeing you every day. God bless you. That's it. That's it. Hey, Coach. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for everything that you've done for me. You're welcome. Listen, whatever Coach Donnelly tells you to do, you do it. Got it? Yes, sir. And I'm going to work really hard to make that podium this season. And if I do, then we did it. That's right. We did it. God bless you. What do you want, Chris? <laughs> Coach, I just want to say thanks for everything. Hey. I um, couldn't help but over here. What does we did it mean? Uh, well, the first thing Coach Michaels told us as freshmen is whenever we run and accomplish something, it's not I did it, but we did it. Athlete, coach, and the Lord together. He says to never leave the Lord out of anything that you do in your life. So his saying to remind us of that is we did it. That's really nice. Hi. So, what do you say we take a little road trip tomorrow morning? <laughs> yeah? What do you have in mind? Uh, track meet. Track meet? Yes, Keisha Thompson has a home meet, and I'd really like to watch her run. How far away? Uh, two hours. <sighs> you know, I can't think of anything else I'd rather do on a Saturday morning with my wife. <laughs> I want to be able to see the 100, 200, and 300 meter mark. Keisha's won the national championship in the 800 meter for three years in a row. Nobody in any of those races has even come in under 210. Meaning? She's had no competition. <sighs> OK, once the race starts, I'm going to click my watch on her 100 meter splits. Can you write down the times that you see? Sure. Thank you.
Keisha's four seconds faster than Brittany. How does she ever expect to beat her? In all honesty, she can't. It's too much time to make up. So this was a wasted trip? No, I wanted to find out how Keisha ran her race, and now we know she was up fast and then slows down. Well, it didn't look like she was doing much slowing down. I mean, she killed everybody. Her first lap was five and a half seconds faster than her second, and all the other girls slowed down, too. Ah, uh, I see. All right, look at her splits. She gets a little slower every 100 meters. There's got to be a way to beat her. So we drove two hours to watch a, a two-minute race? We drove two hours to watch a 206.3-minute race. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Chris just came in. What's he doing here? Does he know we're here? Uh, no. Hey, let's sneak up on him. Hi, I'd like to pick up my shoes. We had to order them. OK, I'll check. Oh, can I ask you something? Um, I'd like to get a gift for my girlfriend. I wonder if you had any ideas. She runs track for Bethany. Um, I'm not sure. Did you have anything in mind? Mm, not really. Um, uh, maybe a shirt she could wear in practice. Like a training shirt? Yeah, um, do you have a, a shirt with writing on it that says, I, I don't know, my boyfriend is the greatest, you know, something humble like that? <laughs> I, I don't think we have anything like that. OK, uh, how about a shirt that says, uh, my love for my boyfriend is 800 meters wide? <laughs> no, wait, I got it. How about a shirt that says, why are you two spying on me? <laughs> <laughs> what are you up to? Hey, I didn't know you were coming in here tonight. Well, I didn't know you were coming. I got a message my shoes came in. Ah, I see. Actually, she was going to get you something, right, Britt? Uh, yeah. Well, that sounds great. Don't let me stop you ladies, then. Uh, um, do you have a shirt that says, my girlfriend is the greatest? You know, something humble like that. Hey, what you doing? I'm watching some 800 meter finals from the Olympics and a couple other championships, trying to see how these people run. Picking up on anything? Yeah. Coach Michaels is right. Every single race has been one with positive splits, so the first lap is faster than the second. It's just not the best way to run. I mean, do you know anyone else who thinks the way that you think? Yes. Dave Waddle, he won the 1972 Olympics with even splits. He wasn't the favorite, but he outsmarted the competition. <laughs> Sounds like you're kind of runner. <laughs> There's got to be a better way. Hi, hey, Coach. Hey, Jess. How's it going? It is going. We just finished up 800 meter repeats. Everyone hit the pace and Coach Michaels had written for them except for Chris. What happened with Chris? He ran them a lot slower than he was supposed to. Do you know why? I do not. Oh, hey, Coach. Coach Michaels left a small present for you on his desk. Be sure to grab it before you leave. A present? Yeah. You'll understand when you see it. OK, thanks. Hey, Chris, what's up? Are you injured? Oh, you mean my repeats? No, I took it easy because I wanted to run with Brittany and push her along, if that's OK. Uh, sure, that's OK. It's just that Brittany's not doing the workout the way you were supposed to, so. You're kidding. OK, yeah, brilliant move on my part. <laughs> you know what? You can run with her. It'll work out. Hey, coach. I'm all rubbed up and ready to go. OK, good. We're doing 800 meter repeats today, and I want all of them at 236. 236? That's pretty slow. Give me your first lap in 80 seconds, the second in 76. I've never run them like that before. Run them that way a few times, and you'll see 236 and too slow. OK, I want even pacing on both of these laps. You're going to have to hit 100 meters in 20 seconds, 200 meters in 40 seconds, 300 meters in 60 seconds, 400 meters in 80 seconds. Sounds easy. <laughs> Yeah, right. When you come through and you start your second lap, you're going to have to tell yourself to pick it up a step. Because then you've got to do 100 meters in 19 seconds. Tell myself to pick it up a step. <sighs> got it. Uh, coach, how many of these are we going to do? 78, 79, 
80, good job, right on pace. Pick it up a step. So how long have you two been dating? Um, about two years. We started dating end of track season freshman year. And I've been letting her hang around me ever since. <laughs> I gotta admit, Coach, that workout was different. Yeah, we usually do 800 meter repeats pretty hard. I don't see how running 800s at the pace we did help Brittany get any faster. It was too slow. Doesn't make any sense. Well, Chris, if there's anything I've learned since becoming a Christian, it's that there's a lot of things in life that don't make sense. I can think of examples of this from, from running or Christianity. All right, I'm all ears. OK, all right, um, running. Take today, for example. Brittany ran slower. But look how many 800 meter repeats she was able to do and with limited rest in between. That's what makes the workout effective. She's building strength and endurance, and over time, those are the things that make you faster. OK. I'll buy that, I think. <laughs> OK. In Christianity, Jesus said, whoever will save his life shall lose it, but whoever will lose his life for my sake shall save it. I've never really understood that verse. What does it mean? It means that in Christianity, you win by losing. <laughs> win by losing? That doesn't make any sense. I, I think I get it. As Christians, we surrender our lives to gain his. And with running, you can get faster by training slower. So win by losing. Yeah, you got it. And now you see why I've been letting her hang around me ever since. Sharon. I just got off the phone with Coach Michaels, and there's a real good chance that he will not be back in the fall. So, looks like we're going to need to start a search. Coach Donnelly, you're here early today. Yeah, uh, we're on spring break at Orange Hill, so I can actually get here when you guys do. Coach, I'm Leah. And I'm Tanya. I'm Candace. Nice to meet you guys. We run the 4x4, four four, and we were wondering if you might have any advice on how we could get faster. Oh, well, I'm sure that your coach is doing everything she can to help you run your best. She is, um, but we see how you're working with Brittany, and it's different than what she normally does. So we were just wondering if maybe you had some advice. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not your coach. You'll just have to ask Coach Simpson. Coach Simpson said it would be okay if we talked to you. Really? Yeah. Um, okay. What times are you guys running right now? My best 400 is 54.8. Jenny's run a 58. I've run a 56.4. 57.5. Do you remember what your 200 meter split was on that 54.8? I ran 26 seconds for my first 200. OK, and you came back on almost 29? Right. Try going out at 27 and maintaining that. That'll get you down to 54. Same with you guys, even out your splits. On the 400, you sure? Yeah, try it and see. OK. And what order are you guys running your event in? I lead off, then Jenny, then Candace, and Leah anchors. OK, so you're starting with your second fastest runner, handing off to your two slowest, and then finishing off with your fastest? Right, coach likes to get a good start. OK, well, I would try starting with Jenny, handing off to Candace, then Tanya, then Leah. Why in that order? Because you want to get faster each time you hand off the baton. Oh, OK. Well, thanks. <laughs> we'll try that. Hey, Coach. Hey. Coach Donnelly, do you have a moment? Sure. Um, look, we appreciate you helping Coach Michaels with his distance runners, but I don't need any help with mine. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, Quite frankly, I don't appreciate you coming to my relay team, changing up their order, and then telling them to go out slower for even splits. It's a 400-meter run. 
It's not a 5K cross country race. Coach Simpson, they. Plus, we don't need a high school coach coming in here and making it seem like we don't know how to train our athletes. That's very embarrassing. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Why'd you do that today? Do what? Tell Coach Donnelly that Coach Simpson said it was OK. Because they don't like Coach Simpson? It doesn't make it all right saying what you said. It's no big deal. Leah, come on, girl. Come on, girl, what? Tell the truth. Don't tell lies. I didn't lie. No. So what was that you said to Coach Donnelly? I didn't lie. I told you I don't like Coach Simpson, and that's the truth. So the gun sounds, and I decided to go right for the lead. And my reasoning is, is that both Strong and Wyckoff are in the race, and those guys are better than me. So I thought, let me grab the lead, and maybe I can hold them off. Wrong. I hit a wall after 500 meters, ended up finishing dead last. I should have been no worse than third. Yeah, well, Chris, that's what happens when you try and run somebody else's race. What do you mean? Well, I would know, because I did the same thing. When I was 13, I played golf, and I entered into a youth tournament on my home course. Kids from all the surrounding counties came in. I was put in the top foursome and ranked number one. Got on the first hole. Three other girls go before me, and I'll hit great drives. So I start getting worried. I go out, and on my first shot, I drive it 20 yards. Yeah. I dubbed my next two shots and ended up with like a nine on the first hole. I lost that tournament by 12 strokes, even though I was ranked first. And I went back the next year when I was 14. I let it wire to wire and ended up winning by three strokes. The difference was that when I was 13, I was looking at everybody else and worried what they were doing. The next year, I focused on my game. So you got to do that. Focus on your race. You do what you do best. Can't expect one by running someone else's race. Well, I finished last, so I can attest to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, Jess has your workouts. Hey, Brittany, I'm not going to be here Friday, so can you meet Saturday instead? Yeah, sure. OK, good. We're going to take a little drive and do a really important workout. Sounds good. Right. I know you recognize this place. <laughs> yeah, it's where we ran the state cross country meet. That's right. They've got something here that's hard to find. It wasn't a part of your course, but it is right next to it. All right, that's 400 meters right there. You see where I marked 100 meters, 200, 300, and now 400 meters. Right. All right, let's go back to the start. Talk about how you're gonna run this thing. Now, what's special about this course is that it's slightly uphill the entire way. Each time you pass the flag, I need you to tell yourself to speed it up a little, okay? First 100 meters, run at about 20%. Your second, you're gonna pick it up to 40%. Third, ramp it up to 60% and finish your last one at 80%. You don't have to run all out, okay? The main thing is, each time you pass a flag, you have to tell yourself to pick it up a step, okay? Got it. I'm gonna go about halfway from there. I can get your 100, 200, and 300 splits, but when you run across at the 400, throw your arms up so I know you're done. You're gonna walk back to recover, and you're gonna go again. Got it. Uh, Coach, how many of these are we gonna do? John Duncan, the athletic director at Bethany University. Yes, sir. Karen Price, assistant principal, Orange Hills Academy. Well, it seems we have one of your coaches helping us out over here this spring. Yes, I heard. Coach Donnelly. Yeah, I'd like to ask you about her for a moment, if I may. Sure. How can I help? Well, I'd like to know if you could give her a recommendation. Can I recommend Coach Donnelly? Yes, ma'am. 
Oh, Mr. Duncan, I've been an administrator for 14 years in three different schools, both public and private, and Coach Donnelly is as fine as they come. <laughs> that's, that's high praise. I'm glad to hear that. May I ask what this is about? It looks like our cross-country coach is going out on an extended leave, so we're starting to look for somebody to take his place. I see. I'm aware that Coach Donnelly has her master's degree. Yes, she does. Well, I appreciate the good word about her. Thank you for your time. Yes, sir. Goodbye. I just saw a perfect race. Your best time is 3.9 seconds behind Keisha's. Now, in an 800 meter race, that's a long way. Yeah, I know. So we've got two tasks. One, we've got to get you two to three seconds faster. Two, we've got to get Keisha one to two seconds slower. What? Our first task is to get you faster. We're going to change the way you run your race. You're not going to be going out fast and then slowing down in your second lap the way that you're used to. You're actually going to be doing the exact opposite. Secretary is the horse that won the 1973 Kentucky Derby in record time. The race is a mile and a quarter long, and each quarter mile, he got faster than the one before. These are splits. The science behind running says you maximize your ability with a 51 to 49% split, meaning starting out slower and getting slightly faster as you go. It's exactly what Secretary did. It's exactly what you're going to do. All right, I want you to run your first 100 meters in 16 seconds with three tenths of a second on either side. Now, it may take a few times to get the pacing down, so let's try a few. Start in lane two for me. Set. Seconds. Let's try it again. Seventeen seconds. Try again. Sixteen point eight. Fifteen point three. Coach, I can't do it. It's too hard. Brittany. Do you remember the story in the Bible about the rich young ruler who asked Jesus what he had to do to have eternal life? Yeah. That story kind of asks the ultimate question, right? What do you have to do to have eternal life? And you'll remember in the story, it says that he asked Jesus, and Jesus told him he didn't like the answer. So he walked away, and the Bible said that he was sorrowful. Think about that. Here is somebody asking how to have eternal life. He was standing there, staring right at it, and he walked away. Why? Because he didn't want it bad enough. You want to try this again?
Hey, your favorite thing to do as of late. I know, I'm sorry. I found Keisha's championship race from two years ago and the one from last year, and she ran them both exactly the same way. There was nobody near her. They were easy wins. And she's the one you need to slow down. Right. You know, I've never heard of a runner intentionally slow down so that a slower one can beat her. Have you? No. So how do you intend on beating her then? I have an idea. The last two years, we ran together every day in practice. Now I hardly see you. Coach Charlie said you can come to my practices. Yeah, but I gotta run with the guys. I don't know why Coach Michaels brought her on anyway. You could just run with us. I'm just saying. What's wrong? Nothing. I just don't understand why you get your own personal trainer. It's like we don't matter. That's not true, and you know it. Oh, how come I don't get my own personal trainer then? I'll tell you why. Because I'm not going to regionals or nationals. That's why. Chris, Coach Donnelly is my high school cross country coach. She's the one who convinced me to go out for track in the first place. I wasn't going to. If I didn't have track, I wouldn't have you. That was hard. Really? I thought the test was easy. I bet I aced it. Yeah, right. No, really. I bet I got every question right. How'd you know all of that? I studied. There is no way you knew all of that. OK, look. She gave the same test yesterday. So? So one of my friends snapped a picture. You cheated? No. I had advanced information. Thirty-two point one. Good job. I went five in a row just like that. Five? Yeah, make sure they're all within four tenths of a second on either side. You gotta get the pacing down. Coach, I can't run five 200s in a row at 32 seconds. Uh, yes, you can. And we're gonna stay here till you do. 33, try again. 32.9, half a second off. Two point two, great job. Four in a row, one more. Coach, I can't. I'm too tired. Yes, you can. No, I can't. It's too many. Brittany, this is exactly how you're going to feel in the final two meters at nationals. You're going to be this tired. So what are you going to do? Are you going to stop? You're going to keep going. Most athletes would have quit. What was my time? 31.9. There's an inner satisfaction that comes when you work hard, when you don't give up, and when you give it your best. And I'm really proud of you. Good job. Thanks. All right, take tomorrow off. I'm not going to see you Friday, but I want you to get a workout in, OK? I want you to do 10 100 meters in a row at 16 seconds. You got to get the pacing down. OK. Have Chris time you. Text me when you've done it. All right. Hey, you did it. We did it. Hey. Hey, so I got a call from the athletic director at Bethany this afternoon, and they are looking for somebody to coach cross country this fall. And they need a distance coach for track in the spring. They've got a science position available. You're serious? Yeah, and he asked me if I was interested. Just like that? Just like that. So what did you tell him? Well, I told him I had to talk to you about it first. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I, I just didn't expect it. Yeah. OK, so what do you think? Well, my first thought was that Coach Michaels is either retiring or that his condition's more serious than he's letting on. And I'm flattered. I just, I don't know, Michael. I don't know. 
<laughs> my girlfriend, she's trained to run like a horse. <laughs> We're all practicing to run, and she's learned to gallop. <laughs> Can you stop? I'm just kidding. Well, it's not funny. You know that horse set a record in 1973 that still stands today? Can't think of a runner that's done that. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hey. You okay? Yeah. I just hate it when he makes fun of me. He does that a lot. When I was a freshman in college, I dated a guy that made jokes about me like that, and I hated it, too. We were together for six months before we split up. And when I was a sophomore, I started dating Michael. And he's never made fun of me or embarrassed me, not once. I'm really glad I'm married to Michael. Why does he do that? He's jealous. And joking like that is his way of covering up his own insecurity and hurt. Britt, he may say that he loves you. I just think he probably has a little bit to learn about what real love and commitment are all about. What makes you say that? Well, the Bible says love isn't envious. So you should be happy for somebody's success and not jealous of it when you really love them. Well, then how will I know when he really loves me? You'll know. We can start whenever you're ready, okay? Uh, not tonight. I just got in and I have a lot of homework. No, I don't want you to help me study. Look, I just need to get a shower and get to work, okay? No, no, I'm just gonna eat something here. I just don't feel like talking right now, okay? I need to go. Chris, I need to go. You're gonna run your first 200 meters in 32 seconds, the second in 31.5, the third in 31, and your final 200 meters in 30 seconds. You do that, you're in a 204.5. That would beat her record by a tenth of a second. Yeah, but I'm not trying to beat her record. I'm just trying to give you a chance to win the race. Today, we're gonna to work on your first 400 meters, so let's go to work. Would you like something to drink? I'm okay, thank you so much. I was just gonna stop by for a minute. Okay, thank you. Hey, Coach Donnelly, forgive me for not getting up. Please come on in and sit down. I thought I might stop by to give you an update on how Brittany was doing. But first, how are you doing? Well, not doing too good. Doc says I'm gonna need surgery. I'm sorry. Me too. <laughs> So how are things going? Brittany's doing well. We're working on strength right now with some hill workouts. She's learning pacing. And it's not easy, but you know she's a hard worker. And I think the combination of things that we're doing is going to give her a good chance. Give her a good chance? To beat Keisha. Nobody's expecting a miracle. I just wanted to make the podium. I do too, sir. I'm just uh, aiming for that top spot. Uh, I just wanted to stop by for a minute. I still got to make the long trip home, but we'll be praying for you. And I'm not just saying that. My husband and I, we have been praying for you. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Hey, Coach, mind if I ask you, you've been a Christian long? Uh, yes, sir, since I was a junior in high school. You take Christianity very seriously, don't you? Yes, sir, I do. Do you ever think about death? Occasionally. I've been thinking about it quite a bit lately. And even though I'm a Christian, death is something I'm not looking forward to. I understand. What do you believe, Coach? What do I believe? About life and death. God. Well, I believe that the God of the Bible created me. And I was born a sinner. And that means one day I'll die. I also believe that Jesus is God, that he came to earth. He died on the cross for our sins. He rose and he's seated at the right hand of the Father and he'll return one day. I believe that faith in Christ is the only way to go to heaven. I believe that there's nothing, nothing more important than following him in this life. That is very well said, young lady. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. I hope you get better, sir. Thank you for helping with Brittany. You're welcome. <sighs> Coach, I think she can beat her. Can I ask you a question? You just did. Still not talking to Chris? I'm taking a break from Chris. Why? Why do you ask? Because he keeps asking me what's wrong. I told him we needed a break from each other. Yeah, but he doesn't know why. That's for him to figure out. One thirty-three point eight. Okay, good job. It's half a second faster than you want to be, but you still got something left, right? Yeah. Good. This is where those hill workouts are going to come in. I know you might not like doing them, but the final two hundred meters of the race, you're going to be glad you did. Okay. Take a full recovery. We're going to go again. Six hundred meters and one thirty-four point five this time. Yeah, I think I've only got a couple of jumpers that are going to the regionals this year. That's about it. Show workout today, Brittany. Uh, yeah, just three six hundreds, but all at race pace. You got your first crack at Keisha coming up in the regionals. Think you can catch her? Uh, I don't know. She's pretty far ahead of me. We'll be pulling for you. Thanks. I hear you've been working the hills. Yeah, Coach Donnelly's pretty big on that. Good for you. Help build some strength. She's trying to get me a couple of seconds faster. That would still leave a couple of seconds to gain, though, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. But Coach Donnelly said she's going to try and slow Keisha down. Wait, what was that? She's going to try and slow Keisha down. I don't know how or what she means by that. Well, see ya. Bye, Brittany. Bye. Slow down a runner? Beats me. See you guys. See you, Jess. Coach Donnelly, we were just talking with Brittany, and she mentioned you had a plan to slow down a runner. I've been around track a long time. I've never heard a coach say they could do something like that, especially somebody like Keisha Thompson. You do know she's a three-time champ. 
I'm well aware of her success, yes. I saw Keisha run the final last year. She'd have to trip and fall before anybody would have a chance to beat her. Is that what you have in mind? No. OK. Well, I didn't know, because I've been to some high school meets, and stranger things have happened. Well, I can assure you the thought never crossed my mind. Please, don't do anything to disgrace the name of the school. Slow down a runner. What's Keisha going to do? Run right up to the finish line, stop just before crossing, and go, come on, Brittany, it's all yours. <laughs> No, she hasn't said anything yet, but I don't believe for a moment she's going to turn it down. She'll get to coach at the college level, teach a couple of entry-level courses, and her pay will double. Well, maybe not double, but it'll surely go up. You could always match funds with some of your principal salary and keep her here. <sighs> oh, here's the clincher. Her husband's an accountant, and their firm has two offices. Guess where the other one is? We're going to need to look for a new science teacher, a new cross-country coach, and a golf coach, because Coach Donnelly is not going to be here in the fall. Yeah, I'll be sorry to see her go, too. Nice job, ladies. How's it going? It's not. Got one meet left to qualify for regionals. My relay team has a lot of time to make up if we want to get in. How much? A little over three seconds. Ouch. Yeah. Right now, I've got Leah going in the open 400, but she's my only runner. Relay team's a long shot. Can Leah make the national? No, no, not a chance. I mean, at least she's going to regional. I can't seem to get these girls to go any faster or put together four good legs. Well, why don't you try a couple of different things then? Oh, grad assistant has some advice. That should be good. <laughs> Have you considered having your girls go out slower the first 200 so that they can come back faster? Even splits for a 400-meter run? Yeah, something like that. And change up the order of who leads off. Start with your slowest runner and always hand off to a faster runner. You sound just like that high school coach. That's where I got it from. What did she do? Talk to everybody about my relay team? She didn't talk to me. Well, how do you know what you just said, then? Your girls went up to her and asked her if she had any advice for them. Wait, what? My girls asked her? Yeah. How do you know that? I was standing right there when it happened. Okay, wait, so they asked for her advice on what, exactly? How they could get faster. And Coach Donnelly told them? Not at first. What do you mean, not at first? Explain. She won't answer the phone. When I see her on campus, she says she doesn't want to talk. What's going on? I don't know. But you're her roommate. You must know something. Well, I'm sorry, I don't. Something happened I don't know about. Could be. I never know how much I really care for her. Well, you should tell her that. How? She won't talk to me. for a minute? Sure. Is everything okay? When we talked to you a while ago about our relay team, Leah told you that Coach Simpson said it was okay, but Coach Simpson didn't know anything about it. And I felt guilty ever since. I wanted to come to you sooner, but I'm sorry. Thank you for telling me. Coach Leah. Leah's not doing so good. What do you mean? Well, she lies. She cheats in school, and she doesn't seem to have any conviction about anything. And I'm scared that she's not a real Christian. Why'd she come to school here, then? She has a partial scholarship, and her father went here, and he's a pastor. And you're not sure she's a believer? She's heard it her whole life, but I'm not sure she's ever really heard it. I see. 
I'm sorry that we lied to you and I went along with it. But I'm a Christian coach. I struggle with things, but I'm a Christian. And Leah's my friend. She just needs help. Tanya, thank you for coming to me. So, we can transition over to the new office whenever we're ready. It's totally up to us. Wow, that, that's good to know. Yeah, seems like everything's falling into place. Yeah, it really does. So, the decision's all yours. No, the decision's ours. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter to me either way. I can stay here or go there. I mean, this decision's all up to you, Miss Courtney Smith. Hey, Jess, how'd it go today? It didn't. No one ran. How come? We don't run run at training hard. Is Brittany here? Yeah, she's in there. He's so cool. Coach, I didn't think you'd be coming today. You do know they run track meets in the rain, right? Well, yeah, but it's raining pretty hard. Coach Michaels doesn't make us practice when it rains. Hey, Coach, does your high school team run in the rain like that? Yeah, as long as it's not lightning, we run. But why? Because we're runners, and that's what we do. I mean, nationals could be in the rain. It was pouring. That's ridiculous. Why would you run in the rain? Do you really want to know? Sure. Seriously, Chris, do you really want to know? Yeah, sure. Can I ask you, are your parents together or divorced? They're together. Anybody else here have parents that are divorced? Raise your hand. Yeah, mine too. Anybody here with their hand up wish that never would have happened? Look, chances are you're all gonna get married someday. You'll pledge to make a commitment for life and there will come a day in your marriage that you experience rain. You're gonna have a really big decision to make. You can choose to do the easy thing like our parents did and get divorced. Or you could choose to stay together in the rain. Chris, it's really easy to run when the weather's nice. It's easy to follow the Lord when everything's good. What about when it's not? It's not fun to run in the rain. And it's not easy to follow the Lord when nothing's going right and you're wondering where God is. But regardless of the conditions, you still run. And regardless of the circumstances, you still follow. That's why we run in the rain. Brittany, good job today. I'll see you next week.
Where are you going? To see Chris. Okay, your surgery is scheduled for Saturday the 18th. Here's some information for you. I want you to come in a couple days early, so plan on being here on the 16th. Saturday is the day of the national. What time's the surgery? Two o'clock. One of my runners should be in the 800 meter final then. They're gonna run her race at 2.30. I wanted to listen to it over the phone. Sorry, coach. Can't you push it to another day or time? Jeff. The line waiting to get the table at this hospital is 800 meters long. I'd rather listen to the race. And I would rather not have to perform this surgery. Can we do it in the morning? I play golf on Saturday mornings. Didn't I tell you golf is the most frustrating game ever invented? You better hope I have a good round so I don't take my frustration out on you. Apology. There's been a misunderstanding. I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you before. I thought you had approached my girls and given them advice on how to run. I did not know that they approached you and told you I said it was all right to share your thoughts. They were wrong to say that. Uh, I apologize for my hasty response. No apology necessary. Leah and I have had a little tension all year. I understand. I have <laughs> been there before. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. They missed qualifying for regionals by nine tenths of a second. They all tried to run even splits and each ran their best time. And I like the idea of getting faster each time you hand off the baton. All four girls are back next year and they're pretty pumped. That's great. I'm, I'm really happy for you guys. Good luck with Brittany in the regional. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Hardly anybody around. Did you just finish your workout? Yeah. Ready for the regional? Um, yeah, I guess, but I don't stand a chance at nationals. Sure you do. Uh, no, I don't. The only girls that don't stand a chance at nationals are the ones that didn't qualify. I ranked seventh out of eight, and only the top four get in. Okay, but what if three of those girls got disqualified? What if they cheated? Cheated? Yeah, you know, steroids, doping. It wouldn't surprise me if some of them are. Or what if some of their coaches submitted faster times than they actually ran? That'd be wrong. The cheating or the lying? Both. Yeah. That reminds me, in my class, I have this thing that I say to my students before every test. I say, get it wrong before you cheat. You know, that way you can feel good about yourself sleep at night. That's my only rule. Get it wrong before you cheat. That's a good rule. Yeah. What year are you? Junior. Bethany University and Orange Hills Academy, where I teach, they exist for the same purpose. That's to teach people about Christ. We've all lied, and we've all cheated. I know I have it in my life, but that's why we need Christ. When I was a junior in high school, this girl told me that Jesus died for all my sins. She led me to Christ. Uh, 
Coach, do you have a minute? Sure. Leah, you okay? Coach, I owe you an apology. You and, like, half of the people on campus. Brittany. I'm so nervous. I understand. You're not going to run your race today the way we've been training for it. What? Keisha's going to go out for the lead. And I want you to go with her. Stay right on her shoulder for 600 meters, and then slow down and make sure you finish in the top four. Wait, why do you want me to do that? Stay with Keisha for 600 meters. Slow down. Make sure you finish in the top four. I'll see you at the end of the race. Coach. Hey, you win by losing, right? Ladies, move up to the line. Get after it, Brittany. You can get her. Good luck, Brittany. Let's go, Brittany. Yay! All right, Jasmine. Let's go, Brittany. Come on, Brittany. Come on, Keisha. Come on, Keisha. Come on, Key. Runner set. Just thinking the same thing. What's wrong with her? What is she doing? Why is she slowing down? Is she hurt? Coach Dunn, any idea why that runner pulled out? Why, you afraid somebody might beat your girl? No, I was just wondering why she slowed down. I mean, she looked great up to that point. I mean, you know how these coaches are. They tell their runners to start out with the leader and try to stay with them. Well, she did for about 600 meters. Yeah, but Michaels is her coach, and I've never seen him coach a runner like that. Nah, uh, Michaels ain't coaching. You had to take some time off, having some heart trouble. Oh, wow. I'm sorry to hear that. So who's coaching her? Some high school coach. I can't remember her name, but I've seen her at some of the cross-country meets when I've been recruiting. Something doesn't seem right. What do you mean? Well, I mean, she deliberately slowed down. Well, if you're worried, and you shouldn't be, in two weeks when you run the national, just tell Keisha not to go out so fast and to stay with her. And then, in the last 100 meters, Keisha kicks it in and blows her away. You got nothing to worry about. Brittany, why did you slow down? Coach, tell me to. Why did you have her slow down? She was right with her. Dad, the goal wasn't to try and beat her today. But that's the way she needs to run. Just go out and stay with her, see if you can beat her in the end. 
Brittany can't win if she runs that way. But she was right with her for 600 meters. If she gets a little more training in, she might be able to. I'm sorry, sir. It doesn't quite work that way. OK, coach, if, and this is a big if, Brittany can run a 206. How does Keisha Thompson run a 206? If Keisha goes out slower than she normally does, then Brittany has a chance. Wait, I don't understand. Please explain. Keisha usually goes out in 60 seconds, finishes the second lap in 65. So if she goes out slower than she's used to, then Brittany has a chance. How do you figure? Because Keisha's body is used to going out fast and then slowing down. And if she goes out at a slower pace, it's going to do the same thing. What? If Keisha goes out slower, it's going to be easy for her to maintain that pace. Yeah, and then she'll just turn on the jets and blow Brittany away down the stretch. I'm sorry. I mean, no disrespect, you guys. I, I really don't, but I think that you're mistaken. Keisha's body isn't used to that. She hasn't trained that way. She's going to go out. She's going to slow down like she always does. And she's not going to be able to turn on the jets like you guys think. Coach Donnelly, I appreciate all you've done for Brittany. I really do. But I have to agree with the coaches here. Brittany needs to do what she just did. Go out hard after Keisha and try to hang on and see if she can beat her in the end. What makes you think her coach is stupid enough to slow her down? Yeah, why would he ever do that? Brittany can't win by running Keisha's race. She needs to run the way that we've been training. You did a great job today, Brittany. Okay. See you Tuesday. Excuse me. Brittany, what did she tell you to do? Stay with Keisha for 600 meters and finish in the top four. Why'd she slow you down? I don't know. She didn't say. Doesn't make any sense. Wait till Michaels hears about this. Hey, Coach. The lineup for the heats came in today. Keisha's in heat one, Brittany heat two. OK, what are the top qualifying times in Britt's race? One of the girls is running 211.8, two are over 212, and the other's 213 and above. OK, thanks. So what time's your race Saturday? 2.30, but I run a qualifying heat before it on Wednesday. I thought you already qualified. That was the regional to get into the national. So there are 24 runners that made it to the national meet. So on Wednesday, there are three heats. The top two from each heat, plus the next two best times, make it to the final, which is on Saturday. So eight runners total on the final. Right. I see. Well, we're all planning to be there. Thanks. <laughs> are you nervous? Nope. No? No. You are, too. I am not. <laughs> Don't get overconfident now. I'm not doing that. I never do that. I have respect for my opponents. They just can't beat me. <laughs> what about the girl from Bethany? What about her? Is she in your heat? No, but it doesn't matter. Look, see the side of me? Yeah? That's the only side any runner is going to see of me at the end of a race. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you won your heat today, but you can't run a 210 and expect to win in the final. I know, but I didn't run my hardest. I told you that. But I haven't seen you run hard since Coach Donnelly took over. I mean, you ran a faster time than Coach Michaels. Well, Coach Donnelly has a race strategy, and there's been no reason to use it yet. But we will on Saturday. That doesn't. I was going to say something negative, and I caught myself. I'm becoming a new man. Race strategy, Coach Donnelly, on Saturday. Got it. Hey, Brittany. Yeah? Hope it works. Thanks. Brittany ran a 209.8 earlier in the season, and then two weeks later, a 208.5. Since then, nothing faster. And Keisha ran a 204.9 at regional, just three tenths of a second off her record. It's not even close. <sighs> that girl looked good for 600 meters. I mean, she was right there. It's an 800 meter race, not 600. You worried about her? No, sir. Even if she stayed with me, she wasn't going to beat me down the stretch. Look, Coach, we've got two options here. Either Keisha runs like Keisha runs, or we let Brittany take the lead, and Keisha gets her in the end.
Hey, Coach. I saw your car. Hey. You didn't have to come in today. All I did was run easy. I know. I wanted to. I felt like it was important. The other coaches said they're coming to watch my race. That's great. Not sure what they're expecting to see. Keisha's gonna make history, right? Only four-time winner in any event. That's what everyone's expecting to see. Except me. And that's why I'm here today. And it would really help if you felt the same way. Coach, I've run a 208. She's run a 204. I'm not even close. Brittany, running isn't just physical. It's also mental. You have to believe you can do this. It's easy to say. Do you, you remember the story in the Bible about the blind man Bartimaeus? He was begging on the side of the road when he heard Jesus was coming. He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus called for him, and Bartimaeus cast aside his garment. And Jesus asked him what he wanted. He said that he wanted to see. Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. And he immediately received his sight. Jesus said that his faith made him whole, but what faith was he talking about? A lot of people don't know that in those days, blind people wore a special garment so that other people would know that they were blind. So when Bartimaeus cast it aside, it was his way of saying, I'm not even gonna need this anymore. That's the faith. He believes that Jesus was gonna heal him before he was even healed. And I believe you can be Keisha. I really do. But you gotta believe it too. Brittany was right with Keisha for 600 meters in the regional, and Coach Donnelly told her to pull back. Why'd she do that? We don't know. Brittany. I don't know. I just did what she told me. And then yesterday in her heat at the national qualifier, Coach Donnelly told Brittany to stay with the leaders and then win it at the end, which she did. I ran a 210.3. You run faster than that. Yeah. Coach Michaels, we're not here to complain about Coach Donnelly, but perhaps you can give us some clear direction. I saw the regional race, and for 600 meters, Brittany was right with Keisha. She looked great. Yeah, she did. And I think it's the only way to run the final and have a chance. It certainly can't be what Coach Donnelly is hoping for. Which is what? that Keisha will go out slower in the final. Now think about that. The 800 meter champion for the past three years, nobody even close to her, and Coach Donnelly thinks Keisha's coach is going to slow her down for the final. Why does she think that? No idea. Brittany? I don't know, sir. We came here tonight to ask if you could override Coach Donnelly and make the decision for how Brittany should run her race. I see. Coach Michaels, if Coach Donnelly had never come on the scene, wouldn't you advise Brittany to go out with Keisha and try and stay with her? Coach, wouldn't you? As a former 800-meter runner and a finalist in the NCAA, yes, I would. Would you gentlemen please excuse us? I want to talk to Brittany alone. I told you we could get him to make a change. Hey, listen. I'm still the head coach of this team. I coach you distance runners. We've been together now three years. You and I have accomplished a lot. So I'm gonna tell you how you're gonna run your race at the National, and I want you to do it exactly as I'm gonna say. You understand, young lady? Yes, sir. Please, give me your word as a Christian that you'll do exactly as I tell you. I will. I want you to run your race exactly as Coach Donnelly says. Yes, sir.
You warmed up? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, good. This is what we've been working towards. All the training, all the effort, all the pacing. Yep. This goes the way I hope, then you should be in the lead at 100 meters with Keisha right behind you. Let's hope her coach took the bait. What does that mean? Do you remember the story I told you from the golf match when I was like 13? Yeah. Do you remember what I said I did wrong? Um, you worried about the other players. Right, and that's exactly what we tried to do to Keisha. We want her to run our race today instead of hers. Having you run with her for 600 meters and slowing down, that was to get into her head. Let's hope it worked. What if Keisha goes up fast like she always does? It doesn't matter. Run the race the way you've been training. But if she goes up with you, that's what we want. Remember, it's not always the fastest runner that wins. It's the one that crosses the finish line first. I've never been so nervous in my life. Hey, you've run this pace for 600 meters in practice, so you know you can get that far. The whole workouts that we've been doing, and Bartimaeus, they'll get you the rest of the way. If I had to place a bet on the race today, I'd put my money on Secretariat. Never been a four-time winner in any event. I bet Keisha breaks her record by at least a second. What's her record? 204.6. 204.6, okay. I don't think our high school coach knows how good Keisha really is. No, she'll find out in a few minutes. 800's about to start.
Hi. Um, how's Coach Michaels doing? He's doing fine, but he's pretty heavily sedated, so he won't be awake for a few more hours. Can we see him? I'm sorry, but no visitors. You guys wait here for a minute. said that you could go back there, but just for a minute. Okay, yeah, thanks. To be successful as a runner, it takes hard work, discipline, and proper training. And sometimes in order to win, you have to be willing to lose. The same is true in life. Hard work, discipline, and proper training always pay off. But the most important thing in this life is to be willing to lose. Jesus said it best, whoever will save his life shall lose it, but whoever will lose his life for my sake shall save it. <laughs>